tutorial of today, we get right back into the historical timelines. As you already know, it is important for us to always say this. In a world where storytelling can never be overemphasized, Amazonians have got to tell their own story accurately. It starts with getting historical facts straight. And we would like to appreciate Amazonians generally, ABC Amber TV club members especially, ABC Amber TV board members particularly, for ensuring that this platform stays alive and above all, the President of Federal Republic of Amazonia, Dr. Samuel Ikome Sacco, for his vision to the nation of Amazonia. Let me take that memory lane as we make progress before this day. We had a walk through pre-1858 Amber's Bay before the arrival of the Europeans. 1858, the city of Victoria established by Alfred Saker. 1884, establishment of the Amber's Bay Protectorate. 1887, the Amber's Bay Protectorate ceded to Germany. 1916, Britain and France occupied German Cameroon. In 1919, German Cameroon divided at the Versailles Treaty. We moved into 1922. The Cameroons became a League of Nations mandate. Fast forwarded in 1946, we examined how the Southern Cameroons became a UN Trust territory and ended 1954 when the Southern Cameroons attained self-rule in Boya. We have discussed the 1959 free and fair elections held in the Southern Cameroons. We got into 1960 Southern Cameroons leaders visited the UK and the UN. We also went into 1961 UN plebiscite vote held in the Southern Cameroons. We talked about 1961 independence to the Southern Cameroons. We examined 1961 independence to the Southern Cameroons. We went further into 1965, His Excellency Bobay Augustin Ngomjua becomes the Prime Minister and came through into 1968, Honorable Solomon Tandeng Muna becomes Prime Minister and finally into 1972, the state of the Southern Cameroons abolished. We entered into 1973, Honorable Solomon Tandeng Muna made Speaker of Parliament. We also examined 1984, Bia unilaterally changed the name of the country. And finally, into 1984 again, Amazonian Restoration Council demands end to union. Then right into 1993, all Anglophone Conference 1, AAC 1 holds in Boya. We entered in 1994, the all Anglophone Conference 2 holds a Bamenda. Also into 1994, the Southern Cameroon's National Council was created before the news conference, we explained 1999, Justice Frederick Alobwede and the NC chairman. Today we get into 2003, Cameroon sued at the ACPHR in Banjo. Today is a case that was filed before the Africa Court on Humans and People's Rights on January 9, 2003 by representatives of the Southern Cameroon's National Council, SCNC, and Southern Cameroon's People Organization, SCAPO. Acting on their personal behalf and on the behalf of the Southern Cameroon, the plaintiffs who filed the case were the following, Dr. Kevin Nguangume, Mr. Augustine Faye Ndangam, Dr. Martin Ngeka Luma, deceased, Chief Ayamba Ekte Otun, deceased, Mr. Mfo Ngala Mfo, Mr. Humphrey Mbingolo, Mr. Albert Woma Munkong, deceased, Isaac M. Sona, Dr. Emil Mundua, Dr. Tayoba Ngenge, Dr. Stephen Shemlon, Dr. Martin Ayim, Dr. Jay Asongu, Mrs. Regina Mankefo, deceased, Miss Melissa Nambagi, Mr. Andrew Edimo, Mr. Tum Tafon, Mr. Dennis Atemge. The complainants were represented by Professor Carlson Anyangwe and the law firm of Akin Lawon and Ajomo of Lagos, Nigeria. The complaint recites that La Republic du Cameroon is guilty of violating the rights of hundreds of citizens of the Southern Cameroons and the collective rights of the people of the Southern Cameroons. 2009, the ACPHR rules on the case against Cameroon. In May 2009, the African Court of Peoples and Human Rights, ACPHR, 
ruled on the case against the Republic of Cameroon brought by SCAPO, the SCNC and 14 Southern Cameroon nationalists based on the subjugation, on the domination and exploitation are people by the Republic of Cameroon. After reviewing the case, the African Commission concluded that the people of Southern Cameroon qualify to be referred to as a people because they manifest numerous characteristics and affinities which include a common history, linguistic, tradition, territorial connection and political outlook. More importantly, they identify themselves as a people with a separate and distinct identity. Identity is an innate characteristic within a people. It is up to other external people to recognize such existence, but not to deny it. 2013, Dr. Umfo Ngala Umfo elected chairman of the SCNC. After the death of Chief Etung Ayamba, the SCNC elects Dr. Umfo Ngala Umfo as the new chairman of the Southern Cameroon's National Council. A stock southern Cameroon, Amazonia nationalist, arrested and locked up dozens of times. The colonial regime, Dr. Umfo Ngala Umfo, carried out many trips abroad on a diplomatic offensive, including trips to Geneva, London, New York, and other capitals, where he advocated for the unconditional restoration of Amazonians' independence. Adopting the motto, the force of argument, and not the argument of force. He was amongst the narrow ten abducted with Sisuku Julius Ayuk Tabe and serving a life sentence in Cameroon's capital, Yaoundé. This is where we end the historical timelines we count for today. As you already know, our objective is to establish with clarity some of these historical facts by giving Amazonians sufficient reasons why they must not perish because they lack knowledge and or understanding and also why they must believe in the liberation movement. But before then, as always, we want to thank our editor-in-chief and news director, Thalpati King, for putting these historical facts together for your enjoyment. But before then, as always, we want to thank our editor-in-chief and news director, Thalpati King, for putting together these historical details for your enjoyment. Do you want more of this? at our website at www.abcambertv.com for more. I am Star Smart reporting for Undaunted ABC Amber News.